Jesus, you are. You are the victor. You are the great and mighty King Lord. You've been a strong town. My provider. Jesus, you are. Yes, Lord. Come on, all over this room. Let's do it, everybody. I'm sing my head. sat there and um, today is Pentecost Sunday so I'm going to ask you to do something around the world wherever you are in your living room in your car in your bedroom in the kitchen scrambling the eggs walking the dog taking your jog let's just stop wherever we are and here's what's so amazing if the only place you can play praise God is in this room where other people can see you. I hate to bust your bubble, but that's a counterfeit praise. So wherever you are right now, can we just stop for about 30 seconds and let him know he is our everything. 
that he is the victor. I challenge you, get up in your living room right now, stand up in the middle of the floor and just start to open your mouth. Don't just open it softly, open your mouth like you know. I just want to let you know that you are truly the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You are El Shaddai, you are Jehovah Jireh. If you're running, turn the beats off and just stop on the corner and while you catch your breath, just begin to say, God, I want to thank you for giving me the articulation of my speech and the movement of my limbs. If you're in the kitchen cooking the eggs while you're scrambling the eggs, why don't you put the spoon down and just lift your hands and begin to say, God, I just want to thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the ability to understand grace and how truly amazing it is. If you're right now in the bedroom, why don't you throw the cover off, stand up, get yourself together on the side of the bed. Don't worry about who you're going to wake up. They might need to be waked up, woke up. Why don't you get up right now and just begin to celebrate God. It's Pentecost Sunday and the key to Pentecost Sunday is there was a noise and this is what God dropped on me. This is what God dropped on me. Y'all ready for this? I'm talking to you, Sister Maggie, all the way over in Norfolk, Virginia. You and Sister Tawana. I want you to understand, God said, I started with a noise, but now I turned the noise making over to you. So let's make a joyful noise. Why don't you get up right now and just begin to make a joyful noise? We cheer for football teams. We cheer for baseball teams. We cheer for basketball teams. We cheer for graduations. Why don't we cheer today? Because I am that I am loved us enough to take a part of him and deposit it in us and to give us his spirit so God we honor you we magnify you we exalt you we make you bigger than cancer we make you bigger than our bills we make you bigger than our health challenges we make you bigger than our enemies we make you bigger than all of the obstacles that confront us we make you bigger than our mortgage we make you bigger than our cardinal we make you bigger than depression we make you bigger than lupus we make we make you bigger than diabetes. We make you bigger than multiple sclerosis. We make you bigger than stage one. We make you bigger than stage two. We make you bigger than anything that's going to confront us. And we declare right now, there is no God like our God. There is no God that's still alive. There is no God that went in the grave and then 50 days later poured his spirit out. God, we thank you that you're not like our government, that you pour out your spirit on all flesh. We didn't thank, we thank you, God, that you didn't just choose a certain person. We thank you that you pour it out on the rich, you pour it out on the broke, you pour it out on the educated. 